My whole childhood was a chaos, kind of. I was hyperactive, I had attention disorder. I got my energy out in a negative way. I was expelled from school. I was just constantly, you know, couldn't sit still, couldn't be with my own thoughts. I was put on Ritalin when I was six. On the Ritalin, I was way calmer, but then again, like no personality. In the end, I felt like I couldn't even hold a normal conversation going because all the creativity of a fluent conversation just didn't, didn't come. When I was around 15, I got to try surfing for the first time. I finally found like a tool that could help me be calm and be myself. And I could actually go to bed and just go to, go to sleep instead of laying in bed for hours, you know, with all that energy trapped inside. That's when I realized that this, this is gonna be my life. Well, I remember, you know, being in, being at work uh, with my coworkers and talking about that I want to become a professional surfer and I want to travel the world and I want to, I want to live my dream. And I just remember everyone telling me that that those were like very distant dreams and 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 you know nobody no like I, I'm not gonna say that nobody believed in me, but but everyone, you know, they 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 didn't really know what I was talking about. I remember when I first started surfing, I thought that I needed to get away. I needed to live in a place where I could surf more, I could surf warm waves. But when I got the chance to travel and when I got the chance to try different things, I realized that what I really loved was just in my backyard and that I didn't want to spend all my money and time traveling in the world. I wanted to travel around Iceland and find new waves and surf with my friends and be around my family. What's going on? So, there's a wave we've never surfed before, and it seems to be too on. Maybe. Just doing a little light trespassing. There's just a lid! For me, surfing is not about standing on a wave or riding a surfboard. It's about everything else around it as well. It's, you know, driving for hours, spending time in nature and just being in that raw environment. It's just different from anything else. I'm still hyperactive and I still have attention disorder. It's not like I started surfing and I did some yoga and it just vanished. I have to work towards it every day. I, I just I just gotta find something physical that lets the energy out. It just creates room for for your thoughts and, and just forces you to be in the present moment. And the more you're in the present moment, the more good decisions you're gonna take and it's gonna lead to a to a better life. Oosh. 
Tu me retires. 